Turn on the flow cytometer first and then turn on the computer. Log into the system. Empty the waste bottle before using it. Check the liquid level of the decontamination solution bottle and the sheath fluid bottle. Open the Acuri C6 BD software from the icon on the desktop. Choose the file, Open Workspace or Open a Template. Open Workspace to start the measurement. Then select the appropriate template. In this case, select the template for D01110 cells. Replace the Eppendorf with milliq water with an empty Eppendorf and then click on Back Flush. Rinse the system for 2 to 5 minutes with an Eppendorf containing milliq water and then select Delete Events. Check that you have the following plots in the image during acquisition. FSC versus SSC, FSC versus FL1, and FL2, FL1 versus FL2, and count versus FL1 and FL2. Check that the run settings are set to 10,000 events and the fluidix is on medium. Mix your samples by resuspension. Put your sample on the sample stage and then click on run. First, Measure your negative control without antibodies to check the gating of your cells to monitor the FCSH versus SSCH plot. Ask help from your teacher if you're doing this for the first time. If the gating is set, then delete the events. Now, measure your samples one by one, starting with A1, then A2, and so on. Use the same order for the whole class. Save the data under your class name. Make sure the data from your whole class is saved. Data from the whole class is required to be able to perform a good data analysis. Then save the data on your own USB stick. After running the samples, place an Eppendorf with milliq water on the sample stand. Place a tube of milliq water on the sample stage. Select instrument and then click on the run decontamination fluid cycle. After running the decontamination fluid, run with milliq water for 3 minutes before turning off the machine. Turn off the machine by pressing the power button. The system will then close automatically.